We have issued a weather warn day ahead of severe weather chances for the day today. Most of us are at a two out of five on that severe threat level. You can see that includes just about everywhere in middle Georgia. And I think the further north you go, the better your chance of severe weather for today is going to be. Our biggest impact is going to be wind. We could see wind gusts as high as 50 miles per hour in some of the strongest storms. And of course, usually whenever you see stronger winds, that threat of tornado is not necessarily zero. And I don't think those can be ruled out for today, but I would say our secondary threats are going to be heavy rain and hail, and that's going to be for everyone across the mid state later on today. But I think if you live north of I-16, that's really where the stronger threat is going to be around Sparta, Sandersville and Wrightsville. Local radar is clear. We haven't seen any rain early this morning, but we did have some severe weather moving through the southeast earlier. A lot of that was over in Alabama. They did see some severe thunderstorm watches that were issued in the northern portion of that state. Those have now expired. Now, I do not think it's out of the question that we see a severe thunderstorm watch be issued in our area for this morning, at least as we get into the afternoon hours, at least for this afternoon. And the reason I say that is because we are looking at a very good chance of these severe thunderstorms popping on up as early as three o'clock. Now, the only area across the southeast that currently has a warning is going to be over in Tennessee. That's going to be getting closer towards the Knoxville area. Looks like that one's set to expire here rather shortly as well. This is going to be caused by a cold front that's not going to be passing us by. So we're not going to see that kind of defined line of storms moving in later today. For us, it's going to be much more sporadic scattered showers that are expected across the area. So that means models, even ones like this one, are not going to be that reliable for our severe weather later on today. Yes, this does show some severe weather popping on up, most of which is going to be staying south of Cordell. That's according to this model, at least. But I do want to point out the bigger thing to keep an eye on is where we're looking at clearer skies, because that is going to lead to some rising air and of course warm rising air is what those thunderstorms feed off of and that's why I call that storm fuel and as you can see here that is expected to be very high here over the next few hours and especially as we get into the middle of the afternoon closer towards three o'clock just about everyone is at least going to be moderately high with this and a few spots could be that deeper red which might indicate potential for supercell development in those areas thankfully it begins to back off closer towards eight o'clock so whenever we get past sunset that is going to be more expected the sphere threat to die on down. But remember, tomorrow is the summer solstice, so this makes it the second longest day of the year for the day today. So definitely watch out for that as we get into this afternoon. So again, our biggest chance for severe weather is going to be in between 3 and 8 o'clock. Wind gusts over 50 miles per hour will be that biggest threat. And of course, if a tornado warning does come down, make sure to get to the center of your house. That is going to be the safest place of anywhere in your house. Bottom floor, in the middle, away from any doors or windows, and you should be safe from anything that does come on through. Now again, today is going to be very warm and that warm rising air is going to continue to feed those thunderstorms even as late as say six or seven o'clock because the sun is just going to be out so long later today. And some of you that might not see that rain moving in, keep in mind the wind gusts for everyone are still going to be high. Yes, not everyone's going to see those 50 mile per hour wind gusts, but even during this afternoon, I think everyone can expect winds between 20 and about 30 miles per hour during this afternoon. After this, we should begin to clear up for your Friday. Much, much warmer temperatures are on the way and the bigger thing to watch out for this weekend is going to be the heat index which might even be as high as 100. And now here's going to be a quick look at your fish and game forecast brought to you by Harrison's Body Shop. The best time for later today is going to be around 5 o'clock.